Hello, loves. Today I'm going to talk about six things not to say to somebody with an eating disorder. These are the things that I had heard when I was recovering from an eating disorder and I've heard others talk about as well and they're things that are super triggering and angering and yeah, just give you advice on what not to say. Also, I'm going to give you advice on what to say instead. Here we go. Hey, how are you? You look really healthy. Oh my god. Yeah. Come on in. Come on in. It's hard to hear this no matter what. If you're at too high of a weight due to your eating disorder and by returning to normal eating ended up losing weight, or if you're at too low of a weight during your eating disorder and gained weight after returning to normal eating, it is likely to trigger the ED brain to think that their appearance is weight dependent and is reinforcing a mindset of change your weight, to change how you look, to change your life, blah, blah, blah. Everything's better when you lose weight. Not true. Basically, as a rule of thumb, why don't we just not comment on each other's bodies in general? Comment on something you admire in them, something they've accomplished lately, how nice of a laugh or a smile they have. If you're like really noticing how great they look and you just really want to comment on that, say something like, you're glowing, your skin and hair look super shiny and healthy. Everybody likes to hear that. It's really nice to see you eating. You ate almost all of your cereal, that's great. People with eating disorders tend to have the feeling that people are really paying attention to what they're eating and watching them all of the time, like every movement they do. Thereby, commenting on their food is adding to this feeling of anxiety. Also, after a meal, they're already thinking so much about what food they've just eaten and their eating disorder is likely really strong, saying they should feel guilty, etc. And by saying... Like, oh, good job on eating. You're basically reminding them again that they had just eaten and that may be super triggering. After a meal, it is way more helpful to either process feelings around the food, like allowing them the space to just vent and be like, my God, eating that was really, really hard. Otherwise, practicing distraction, TV, talking, reading, etc. If you take an hour and spend some, like just an hour doing something else really distracting, after that hour it's likely the feelings of anxiety and guilt and shame will really start to diminish and they'll be able to process more and deal with the food they've just eaten. What, huh? No. No, I don't. Why don't you just eat? You're never going to get better if you don't just eat. I'm not... Mm. I don't know. Eating disorders are really complicated and one of the most difficult mental illnesses to treat. There is so much that goes into recovery from an eating disorder, and it really isn't just about food and eating. So to suggest that someone can just eat and their eating disorder will go away and it's as simple as that can make the person feel like they should be able to recover in such a simple way. And then because they can't, because that's not how it works, they'll feel a lot of shame because for them recovery isn't easy. If you're having a meal with someone who is struggling with the eating disorder and you can tell they are just not eating and you feel like, man, why won't they just eat, you know? Maybe ask if there's something they need in this moment to help finish the meal. Maybe some distracting game might help or just a conversation to get through the meal and get through the food. Um, Maybe just telling them that you can be supportive and that there's anything that you can do to help them get to this meal, that you'll be there for them. Why don't you just not throw up? It is likely someone with bulimia would really like to stop throwing up, especially if it is part of the binge purge cycle. This behavior is associated with a lot of shame and guilt. There's a lot of complexity behind purging and it is not just associated with trying to control your weight. It might seem from the outside that they're just trying to like get rid of the food and control their weight, but it might not even be a part of that at all. It is a part of an addictive cycle. It's like if you just tell somebody with bulimia to stop throwing up, it's like 
trying to tell a drug addict to simply stop taking drugs, there must be much more along the way for the behavior to stop. And instead, validation is always really helpful. Telling them that you see that what they're going through is really hard and you know it isn't easy and you want them to get better and that you are there for them if they ever need it. That will feel really validating and helpful to somebody. Mm. I think I'm gaining some weight. I don't think so? Maybe eating too many carbs. Yeah. Lose some weight. Ah, I'm not gonna look good for bikini season. That's not that much. Oh. What did I say? Uh, okay, well. In general, avoid negative body talk about yourself. Like things like, do I look fat? Oh, I think my thighs are so huge. Or after eating dessert, saying something like, oh, I should not have eaten that dessert. Most people with eating disorders are super aware of what other people are eating and how they feel about themselves and what they say about dieting and eating and exercise. And how I see it is, in general, the world is a much happier place and diet-free place where no one talks about the things they don't like about themselves. Having a loving attitude towards yourself rubs off on other people. Body positivity goes a long way towards helping someone recover from an eating disorder. How I always saw it was all of the women in my life, no matter how their body was, I just have like so much love and admiration for them. So if they were to say negative things about themselves, I would and then turn it on myself and be like, well, if they don't like their legs, how can I love mine? Because I see their legs and they're so perfect and wonderful and it just makes me like more self-conscious about me. Um, what I say instead is say positive things about people you admire. Like, if you have a cousin, you're like, my cousin is just the most beautiful smile, and the way she talks is so fun and energetic, and I really admire that about her. And my best friend is super creative, and I love to be more creative. You'd be surprised how much being more positive about yourself will rub off on other people as well, and will help your own self-love. And that's really cool. I just you lost some weight recently. Is there, like, a secret diet that I can steal from you? Or... Is it just like this willpower that you have? It's really inspiring. I want to try to harness that. Don't ask for diet advice, especially from someone with an eating disorder. People who see someone losing weight from the outside, you might assume that their weight loss is just a matter of willpower, as most diet companies and magazines and advertisements want us to believe that you just need willpower to lose weight. Um, contrary, Eating disorders are a mental illness and are very fear-driven and involve a lot of self-loathing, not willpower. You never know who may be struggling as well with an eating disorder, so why not just avoid asking this question in general altogether and break the diet cycle for yourself and others. So remember in the end that eating disorders aren't caused by hearing something triggering like these six things I've put up before you. You won't make somebody have an eating disorder by saying one of these things to them and if you already have said one of these things to someone that you think has an eating disorder, don't be hard on yourself. Just work on finding ways to be a helpful support person in the future. Thanks for watching. That's all for today. Like and subscribe down below so you can follow me for more videos that I'll be putting out. If you have any questions or comments or you have suggestions for future videos you'd like me to do, comment below and I'll try to do those for you as well. Take care of yourself. Bye, loves. Ready. I'm not ready for bikini season. <laughs>